A very good afternoon. You're watching Your Stocks on CNBC TV 18. I'm Ekta Batra and with me is Vinny Motiwala. Well, it's turning out to be a session where we've seen some amount of recovery for the three indices. So we have the Sensex, the Nifty as well as the Bank Nifty, which have just about managed to move into the green. So let's see, there's some amount of buying at lower levels for the mid-cap index as well. Currently, however, the advanced decline ratio still has quite a lot of work to do to get into maybe even keel or positive terrain as well. But nonetheless, a lot of numbers on your screen. So Lara Active is flat flashing by. Uh, stock is up around 5 odd percent. There's a huge EBITDA uptick which has taken place at around 61 odd crores. So that's, um, you can see, 17.6 percent in terms of margins versus 8.7 percent on a year on year basis for this API company. Hi. Hi, Ekta. Good afternoon and surely good afternoon at least for Solara Active Pharma <laughs> just coming out with its numbers and Locked on upper circuit, an interesting move there. Markets also right now have uh, recovered from the day's lowest point, moving on to the positive side, slight bit of a positive side bias is something that we are watching out for. But on that note, let's get started with all your stock-related queries and our experts for today who will be solving your queries. We have Asta Jain, Research Analyst at Hem Securities, as well as Richard Jain, Lead Research at FivePesa.com, joining in with us to solve all your stock-related queries. Good afternoon, both of you all, and thank you so much, as always, for joining in with us. Going to start with the queries then because we have the first query that's coming from Krishna from Mumbai. He holds 100 shares of Avenue Supermart at a price of 4,600 rupees per share. So making some bit of a loss right now. Wants to know whether they should continue to hold this or maybe look to sell. Asa, let's uh, come to you in terms of, uh, you know, we have the company that has been reporting its numbers, bit of a subdued resistance we have seen and especially the mix that is coming in. And that's a bit of a concern. So on the fundamentals, how is... Um, DMAC looking like? Should they continue to hold this for the long term? Hi, good afternoon to all of you. So uh, the results were not good. Uh, to be very frank, in fact, they have shown um, uh, degrowth uh, in their LFL, that is like for like business, not degrowth, but it was only 5% growth. If I compare it to with a high single digit growth, which they used to post. So results were not at all good. In fact, in a case of footfalls, we have seen the footfalls has also not shown good numbers. And uh, we have seen the lowest ever uh, revenue growth in any quarter. So I think on these basis, since markets are also not in a good shape and if uh, uh, companies posting such sort of a number, definitely it is not leading to any sort of optimism in the investor fraternity. And that is why we are seeing this stock not performing so well. So now here, uh, the cost price is higher. So I think due to that only, I'm recommending to uh, exit partially, not fully, because losses are huge if I ex ask him to exit fully. But here, I uh, recommend to exit partially from this counter and uh, keep holding the partial quantity because in the longer term, maybe uh, two to three quarters down the line, we can see uh, some sort of growth because this company is getting uh, competition from uh, the uh, e-commerce as well. So I think, in fact, DMART already has not shown that strong performance also. So looking after all these things, partially exit and uh, keep holding the partial quantity. This is what we are recommending right now. Welcome back. You're watching your stocks on CNBC TV 18. We did have Ultratech that reported its number. Stock is down 2% as of now. But let's keep it going with your stock related queries. The next query is from Krishna Murthy, who's writing to us from Coimbatore. He's holding 1,414 shares of Titagar, um, which is at a price of, of around 40 rupees per share. So they're like, making really good profit on this one. Titagar Rail Systems is what I'm talking about. Uh, Richard, on the technicals, what is it looking like uh, if they want to continue to hold this for the medium to long term? Is it advisable? I think, yes, you can continue to hold on, although it's a short term corrective phase which is going on since last couple of months. But the stock has very strong support around uh, you know, 970, 2000 kind of levels. You know, but since his buying price is uh, you know, at much lower levels, so I think he has already seen much of the recent corrective phase. And any dips towards 970,000, I think that's where the mid to long term support would come in. So, price wise downside seems to be limited. So, I would say if he's a mid to long term, then he should continue to hold on to his positions. Okay, all right. And Asta, what about you? Even we recommend holding on this counter because we believe that in the Q1, the results were not very encouraging. And main reason was like uh, the election impact was also there. And uh, I think going ahead, quarter two and quarter three seems to be a strong quarter for this company. So we are expecting this company to post strong side of the numbers. And that's why we are positive on this counter, recommending a whole strategy for this company. 
Okay, all right. Now we have Shoaib who writes to us from Pune, who holds 1400 shares of Parag Milk, which he's bought at around 210. He wants to know, he's sitting on a profit at this point in time. He wants to know what to do, hold or sell this particular counter. Well, technically, uh, uh, Ruchit, how would you be placed on this uh, particular counter? You know, Parag Milk, the stock is down today. It's one of those uh, mid-cap stocks. He's sitting on a profit now. Do you think he should probably skim it off a little bit? Uh, I think yes, you know, because if you look at the near-term trend, the stock did give a breakout above its previous swing high, but there was no follow-up move. And generally, when, whenever there are no such follow-up moves, we could see a continuation of the consolidation phase. So we don't expect any significant run-up in the stock in the short term, but uh, there could be some consolidation in the range of 225 to 200. So it seems that we would uh, see a continuation of the sideways trend for time being. So we can trim some positions uh, if you wish to uh, and uh, shift to some other momentum stocks. Okay. And um, Asha, what's your view on Parag Milk? Uh, we believe uh, that one can continue to hold this counter for the price target of 242 to 45 in the longer term because in the shorter term markets are volatile. Uh, why we are positive on this counter? Because the earning growth was encouraging. They have grew, I think, around 16% CAGR growth from FY19 to FY23. And what is positive about this company is this strong distribution uh, network they have and a strong brand they are enjoying. So we believe that uh, the company going ahead will post strong set of numbers also. But in the longer term, we are expecting these targets to be done. So 245 is our ultimate target for this counter, recommending a Okay. Keep an eye out on those targets over there for Parag Milk. Let's move on to the next query. M.V. Raju, who's writing to us from uh, Vijayawada, holding 50 shares of GMM Fordler at a price of 1,400 rupees per share. Wants to know whether they should continue to hold uh, or uh, what should they be doing right now or book out of the stock. Um, obviously, in the last one year, we have seen that the stock has been on a bit of a downtrend, Richard. Uh, what is the word on this one? You know, Should the viewer continue to hold this? Well, a relative underperformer since long time. I think if you look at historical charts in uh, somewhere in 2021, the stock was trading around same levels where it is today. So we have seen a decent underperformance in the stock and there are no signs of uh, any kind of uptrend getting resumed you know, in the short to medium term. So I think it would be a sell on rise kind of uh, no stock which one can adopt. And on the higher side, 1550, 1500 is the resistance gain for the stock. So any pullback move towards the resistance should be used as an opportunity to exit since the stock has you know, underperformed for long even in the bull market. Okay, all right, fair enough. Uh, well, that is on GMM Fordler and we've completely run out of time on the show. We need to wrap up on the show. But before we do that, just a quick status check on Ultratech Cement, which has recovered from the day's low. So that stock is now down around 1.4% despite a disappointing set of numbers. Let's see how it, it goes. And uh, even uh, Solara Active, which came out with its numbers a couple of minutes ago, that stock is holding up with a gain of around 4 odd percent. So let's see. Um, otherwise, for the markets also, it's been a recovery which has taken place from the day's low for the Nifty, for the Bank Nifty, as well as the Sensex. The mid-cap index still has a little more work to do. That's all the time that we have on the show. Do remember to email us your questions. We'll address them with our experts. Closing bell up next.